Good afternoon, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Well, this is Susan at Windmill Ridge Budgets and More, and I wanted to welcome y'all to The Herd. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for joining us today. If you're a brand new visitor to the channel, hang around, get a cup of coffee, pull up a chair here to the kitchen counter, and join us. Ask questions by all means. Uh, put some questions in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer what I can. If I don't know the answer, I definitely know some very, very smart people who are a lot smarter than I am that can help us out. So let's go ahead and get into today's games. Um, we have a little bit of cash to work with here. It looks like a ton, but as you know, most of it is ones and fives. I do have a couple tens left over from our uh, cash condensing uh, money that I've gotten the other day. And I decided just to go ahead and hang on to these two tens. So that's 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and $60 is what we're working with today. I know a lot of times I say playing, but th right now this has been work. So the the 20 was left over. I just want to let y'all know where it all came from. The 20 was left over from our cash condensing bills from last time, and the fives and the ones are from my cash bag from my ones. Uh, Alpha Bucks challenge and from my fives challenge. I am one more five away from completing that fives challenge again. So we're going to put this aside for just a second. We had our casino night. We had an absolute blast. Um, so that was so much fun. It's always nice to get together with uh, friends and, and have a good time and have a nice dinner play some games. My husband loves the roulette, of course. And uh, I eat, you know, it's really kind of funny because even though I am betting, if you will, with fake money, I'm still so conservative with my bets. I mean, I could throw it all in all at one time if I wanted to, but it felt so strange. So I was so, so, so conservative with that. So here we are into are going into our fourth week of January, y'all, and we still, we have two more no-spend days. I'm so excited. We've done so, so well, uh, and we are just really, uh, I think, making some headway here. Let's go ahead and play at least one round to shut the box. Hopefully, it'll be nice to us. There's a three. Because I want to get to this 100 envelope challenge here. Oh, geez, Louise. Are you kidding me? Oh, oof. One and two make three. Holy cow. Okay. Oof. <laughs> All right. 10, 15 it is. 15 it is. Okay. That's, that's all we can do is 15. 10 and 5 is 15. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I kept that those 10s. 10 and 5, 15 to shut the box. And I was going to color on some poly, but you know what? I don't think I am now. Polly's just going to have to wait. She's got a little over a week to go, and we'll be good with her. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96 dollars and shut the box. Wow, okay. We'll see how we do at the end of the month with that. All right, so here we go. Here we go. I'll never sound like Dak, but that's okay. Okay, so I did go out and pull out some envelopes that I thought we might could do today. I don't know, we'll just see. But I did wanna go over with you how we're doing the 100 envelope challenge this time. So, of course, in normal circumstances, you put one and one, and two and two, and three and three, and so on. Um, I decided that we were going to add the digits 
So when you got to 11, one and one makes two, and you'd put in two dollars. That's it, not 11, two. So, uh, and that would make it a lot more uh, manageable for most incomes and fun at the same time. Now, Mary Love says she does it as a dime. So I'm thinking that's pretty amazing and pretty awesome. So do it as a dime if you want or a quarter. It, it's up to you. It's your money. Now, the other thing, too, is this four, as you can see, it's got a $5 bill in it. And I said I was going to put in four. Well, four bills in this little envelope was really tight. So I decided to round it up. So that's got a five. Of course, the five has a five. The six has six. The seven, if I remember right, let's look. I think I rounded that. No, I didn't either. I put in seven. So, but I do believe on the eight, I may have rounded it up. Let's take a look at the eight real quick. What did I do with eight? Let's just take a peek. Five. Yes, I did. I rounded it up to ten just to have two bills and not four with the three ones to make it eight. So I uh, here again, I'm just sort of modifying the modification, if you will. So um, we could have done eight, but I just really thought that that many bills in that in this little tiny envelope was a bit much. So nine, I've got 10 here. So I'm gonna, since I do have one 10 left, I'm gonna go ahead and do 10. You know what, that's not how this one's worked. I keep forgetting, no we're not, down. Bad 10. We're going to do one. I forgot. We're adding the digits, y'all. So, one and zero make, not 10, makes one. Okay. I'm so used to doing it the other way. I'm having a hard time shifting gears. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nine and one is 10. We'll go ahead and do this. We'll do the 10. 20, 2, and 0 would be 2. Well, if I can get this one to open. Come on, darling. You can do it. There she goes. So how are y'all doing with your no spend? Have you just fallen off the wagon, drug the wagon off into the woods and burned it? What have you, I mean, how have you done? Because remember... It's, it's not a lost cause. If you have just had a really stressful time and you've decided that you needed some retail therapy, and that's fine. But get back on, that, on the wagon. Get back on the pony. And we'll start all over again. Because it's not, you know, for not. You can do this. All right. If I can do it, y'all can do it. Y'all, I have... There's been a few times that I've looked at Amazon and it's like, ooh, ah, no, go away. Step back from the Amazon cart. So, here we go. Two goes into the 20. 21 would be three. One, two, three. This is really kind of fun, y'all. Because let's face it, this isn't a ton of money. You're not going to be able to do much with it. I mean, I know some of y'all spend... I mean, I had $60 to start here. Some of y'all probably spend $60 at Starbucks in a week. So, okay. 22. That would be four. Instead of putting in four ones, I'm going to round it up to five. This is also going to be kind of interesting to see how much we end up with when we get to the end. I just, I, I'm excited to see what that will end up being. And because this is such a low amount in each one, two and three is five, um, we can do it again. As soon as, you know, we get done with it, we can empty it out, go deposit it into our high yield savings, decide where that money is going to be allocated, and um, start it again. Why not? If you don't do any other savings challenge, you can do this one. Now, I will say, I did make these. I won't make these to put into my shop. 
I have completed the digital download that I think will work that will have um, the tracker and it will have the label for the lid. And then you can print it off uh, at home on your printer. It is just black and white. So if you don't have a color printer, it's okay because you don't need it for this. Uh, I printed these on vellum. You don't have to print on vellum. Plain white paper works beautifully. And honestly, plain white paper shows up the print a whole lot better. It's, it's brighter and crisper. So that may be, you know, what you're looking for. Let's see. Four and two is six. Five and six. We're not going to get very far, but that's okay. It's further than we were when we started. Absolutely is. So, um, I have an order to pack. Um, I ha I'll, I'll tell you all about the order after a while. And uh, I'll do a pack with me video as well. Um, let's see, it's five, six, seven, five, six, and seven, and uh, and I'll share with you at the end of, of the pack with me video uh, some of the new stuff that I've been working diligently to get into the shop. They're not in the shop just yet. Well, maybe by the time I do the pack with me video, it will be, but um, right now it's not. So I don't want to show you just yet. So I've got some very cute things for Valentine's Day. I've got some things for St. Patrick's Day, and um, I do have a new Christmas one, oddly enough, but I may hold on to that until later on in the year. Maybe we'll do a Christmas in July. I don't know. We'll have a big sale or something, so um, we'll, we'll kind of see how that, that plays out, and um, let's see. What do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, oh, that's eight. That won't work. Um, so, anyway, we um, have some things in the works. Oh, and I have a new product coming out all together that it has nothing to do with cash stuffing, savings challenges, or anything. Now, remember I told you my husband was helping a friend make some cabinet doors for their kitchen. That was being made out of cedar. So, that's just a little hint for you as to what we're going to be adding to the shop. And once I get, I mean, I've got my tags done. I have my tags all finished. Uh, my vision is, is now been printed. And uh, I'll be pulling all of that together. And then hopefully next time, or the time after, I'll have another video. Or I may make two. Y'all, I don't know. I'm kind of all over the place. I may do a pack with me video just by itself and do another video of what's coming up into the shop. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. So 26, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I appreciate y'all letting me kind of use you as a sounding board um, because sometimes when I hear this out loud, it's like I'm, I'm talking with friends. And so I uh, kind of work some things, some of the logistics out in my head. Okay, so that's one, two, three for the 30. We'll use that there. That kind of makes sense. What do we have left? Oh, we had three left. Okay. Well, maybe we'll just hold on to that three. Or we'll we'll color some on poly. I don't know. Because that's four. Yep, that's what I thought. Nope, that's not going to work. So, we'll put these back in the box. Oh, and this is another thing. Don't worry about doing these absolutely positively in order. Put in what you have when you have it. So, and then if it gets to where you can't put in any more, like I have these three dollars here, put it somewhere else. But remember, every dollar needs a job. So give every dollar here a job. So I'm gonna come back after a while and I will fill in the tracker uh, with which ones we have filled in and so that way it'll be up to date when we look at this next time. And I think, hold on, let me check out Polly over here. I think, because these three dollars do need a job, I think I may have, do I have, oh, do, do, I do have a three right there. Nicely done. So we'll do that three right there. Thank you for helping me work out the logistics on these videos and how I wanted to share 
with y'all what's coming up. There's three there. Um, I will definitely do a pack with me video when I get this order all done and ready to pack and, sh and ship out. And I'll do another video showing you what's coming up. Because we have some exciting stuff coming up. Okay, so in monthly games, I'm 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89. 89 in monthly games. Okay, y'all. Fantastic. All right. So, lots more work to do. Things are, are getting really, really exciting. And I hope y'all are doing well and your savings challenges are, are coming along. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, just general, um, you know, you're having trouble or you're doing great or whatever. Or if you found a mistake, if you saw me counting and I made a mistake, please let me know. Please, you know, go back and look at it again and make sure I counted everything correctly because I don't always. I get to talking and I get way off sometimes. So, anyways, all right, I'm going to let y'all go for now. So, until we see each other again, be warm, be safe, take care of each other, and I will talk to y'all soon. All right, bye.